This is the damned pond. <laughs> That's uh, day 176, Saturday, October 23rd, 2021. And headed to Hot Springs. Camped out on the hill there on the other side of the pond last night. Got water out of this thing, but uh, would not recommend it. So I'm about two miles from Hot Springs. Nothing really to video this morning. I haven't had any views or anything yet. And I was talking with the other hiker. He's on up ahead a little way. So, I was going to stay at the Laughing Heart Hostel. They have an event going on. So the owner said we could tent in the lot beside the hostel tonight and get a shower at his house. So that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I get to do laundry, but he said tomorrow night I could go back over to the hostel. So it'd be super cool. At least he didn't say, nope, find somewhere else. So that is the plan. Hot Springs, Life and Heart Hostel. Take a day off. Resupply for two days worth of food. Because it's 30 miles to get to Standing Bear. And if it takes longer than two days, I'll just have to go hungry. But, yeah, stayed at the campsite up by that little pond. Uh, like I said, we did get water out of the pipe at the bottom of the pond. It was very sulfur smelling, had an off taste. I cooked my mashed potatoes with it. And then I, I drank the water I had before getting that. And I have some mixed with two drink mixes in my Nalgene, but... I have a feeling I'm going to be pouring that out. Don't think the water would kill me. But I don't think it'd be good either. And that is the French Broad River. Down below, I believe. I'm going to cross right over it today. I'll walk right through town, be the last town I walk through on this journey. All the rest of them, you gotta get a shuttle. You can still see the water, looks like a little island maybe, or. Yeah, it kind of looks like the water's going around it. I don't know how much climbing we got left. Uh, I think five or seven hundred, seven hundred foot, I think, is all that was. And when I checked gut hooks last, we were close to the peak where it descends into town, so. I have no food. I have one cliff bar that this other hiker gave me yesterday. He gave me two. I have one for breakfast. Yeah. One of the first times going into town with no food. I usually get to town with several days worth of food. So maybe I'm getting a handle on this food thing. Now that this journey is almost over. Like 270 something miles left, I think. It might as well be almost over. It'll seem like it in a couple of weeks.
Looks like I'm not the only light sleeper in the woods. There's somebody snoring in a tent <laughs> at 1 p.m. <sighs> See, there's maybe a few view spots on the last stretch into town, but we shall see. Made it to the French Broad River, almost into town. There's a couple of view spots uh, coming down, but there's a lot of day hikers up there today. So, Let's see if we can get another river view before we get. We'll cross the bridge sooner or later. The rapids right there. Water looks so inviting. It was probably too cold. Somebody lost their Yeti bottle. I don't know if it's a Yeti or not. This has been a super cool little descent and walk by the river. But there's just been people everywhere. It is a Saturday. I can see the footbridge, so almost there. For some strange reason, I keep thinking of Jimmy Buffett's cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> I think is the name of it. I'll correct that if I'm wrong. And they had this little spot. The hostel is over there. And they own all this. So they had this little spot here we could set up our tent. So I got mine here. Other guys over there. So we're just over here for the night and then tomorrow we move back to hostel. They have the whole hostel rented out to a yoga class or so. So, that's it for today, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna finish unpacking, go get a shower, and then hit town, find something for dinner. And then zero tomorrow, move back over to the hostel, and be back on trail Monday. So, I'll see you guys again on Monday.